Welcome folks to lecture 4. Now lecture 4 is very exciting lecture because we discuss the current sources and current mirror sources. Basically inside the CMOS analog circuit how can we bias our amplifiers? We bias our circuits or our amplifiers using current sources. In this particular lecture, we're going to talk about how we create current sources and how we implement them inside the IC chip, which is very exciting and unique way of looking at it. In order for us to do that, let's go back and do some basics and then show you how we're going to develop the actual real circuit that is implemented inside the IC chip. So let's assume we have a circuit and for this circuit we would like to bias it using a DC current source and the value for this current source is I0. We can implement this current source using a transistor. So the circuit is connected to a transistor. This transistor is called M1 and we will bias the transistor such that the current I0 flow through that transistor. So what we did so far is we implemented this current source using a transistor M1 here and if we bias the voltage at the gate of M1 we can control the current that is flowing through that transistor. So that's how we implement the current source. The current through the transistor may be controlled using biasing voltage. For example, biasing the differential pair transistor in the differential amplifier. Remember in the differential amplifier we said we have transistors M1 and M2 connected to the current source and the current through that current source is ISS. Now if we would like to implement this current source, what we do is we replace this current source with a transistor. We're going to call it M3 and we will bias that transistor at V bias such that the current flown through this transistor is ISS. That's how we implement the current source. The question now is that how can we create V bias? I know that if I have the right V bias I will have the right voltage ISS. Now the question is how would I create V bias? The answer is very simple. This is the V bias circuit. The V bias circuit says that we're going to have VDD connected to a current source. We're going to call it IRF. And this current source is connected to a diode connected transistor called M1. If I adjust the value of I reference, I will be able to create a V bias at the gate of M1. So the question now is how can I create I reference? Remember the circuit is about V bias. How to create V bias? That's what we're doing here. Well to replace this current source what I do is I add a resistor called R reference. So what I have now is a voltage source connected to R reference that is connected to a diode connected transistor and now if I control the value of the resistor I will be able to control the current going through the transistor then I will be able to control V bias. You see let's say it one more time I would like to change the value of the resistor to change the current I reference such that I get the voltage I want V bias then the overall current source will look like this. I have VDD connected to I reference which is connected to the diode connected transistor which give me V bias. Now V bias is connected to the current source which is M2 and that is connected to the circuit. You see that? And remember we said that this current source is replaced with a resistor. So now what I have is VDD connected to a resistor that is connected to a diode connected transistor that will create V bias for me 
and vBIOS controls the current source transistor M2 and that will give me the right current I out that biases the circuit. We call this circuit the current mirror. Why we call it the current mirror? Because these two transistors they are reflection of each other so they are almost like the mirror image of each other right basically I out is the mirror image of I reference and note that the voltage VGS1 is the same as VGS2